this is my refrigerator. As you can see, um, it's it's built into this little part right next to my stove. I I found that not too long ago at uh where did I get that at? I don't know, but it was like a quarter. It was ridiculous. Uh, vintage. I like vintage aprons. I hang them around my house. But anyway, so here's my refrigerator, and there's the furnaces down there. This is my what I use for a pantry, which everybody else would oh there's my Jeff would use for um these are bunk beds for like if you have kids. I took the mattresses off it when I moved in here. So the top part is going to be rearranged. My mom's really good at organizing. She's going to help me. I keep some food in here and I keep my dishes. And then down here, I keep all my reselling things and different things. I got to have my Jif peanut butter. I've tried natural peanut butter. It's okay. But this has three grams of sugar, which most natural peanut butter has that in there too. So no big deal. So let's open up the refrigerator and see what I've got for healthy. I'm going to do a, a cleanse and I've ordered a book from Amazon that I read a long time ago when I was a teenager about my benefits of fasting and uh, doing a juice fast with water. And I went to that health food store that you'll see in a video uh, um, after this one. Went to a health food store in Branson and got this organic grape juice that is not from concentrate. So it only has the natural sugars in it. And you drink that while you're on the fast. I have apples because I'm really, I got six pounds of apples that I keep down here in my crisper. I love apples. I don't know. I never used to like apples. I love them now. I like getting these great big cucumbers that are seedless from all these. They're wrapped up in um, plastic wrap and they keep fresher. And they're great to dip in right here. My hummus. I love Aldi's hummus. Now, hummus is easy to make yourself, but it's so cheap. It's like $1.95 at Aldi's. I get the gar roasted garlic and the classic. As you can see, I have four tubs of it. And I like to dip those cucumbers in that. I also have fresh broccoli that I like to dip in the hummus for a nice snack. Walnuts for um, walnuts are really good for you. They're heart healthy. You have to watch on the fat in there, even though it's good fat. Uh, just eat a little bit. Sometimes I just bring up a few of them in my salads. Yeah, um, couldn't beat this price. And all this is also will be underneath a frugal video. And I want to tell you guys, I have a lot of frugal videos. I think a lot of people think my channel is just jewelry, and I'll link up at the end my playlist of frugal how to be frugal videos. And I'll be doing more of these videos, types of videos. This was a salad mix, as you can see. It is hold on a second. It is a spring mix with uh, baby lettuces, leafy greens, radicchio. Okay, this was normally a dollar ninety nine, but it, because it gets off dated tomorrow, but it's perfectly good. It was a dollar off, so I got these bags for ninety nine cents, you guys. So I bought three of those. While I was in Branson, I did go to Walmart. You can never avoid Walmart, and I can't find this anywhere else at Walmart. It's a super blend of Brussels sprouts, Napa cabbage, and that. Colorado or whatever it's called. It's actually cabbage. Broccoli, carrots, and kale. This is good just to mix up a little bit of mayonnaise and eat it. Uh, good to mix in with your other salads too. I eat it raw. So I got all that salad mix. And I like to with my lettuce, take it and mix it with uh, spinach. I get it Aldi's. I know it's Aldi, not Aldi's, but we pay Aldi's. While I was at the health food store in Branson, I got some goat cheese and sheep's milk cheese because sheep's milk and goat's milk does not bother my sinuses, but um, cow's milk will. So I got that, and this is some smoked goat's milk cheese wrapped up. Uh, also, at all these, you can get goat milk cheese, you can get plain, and you can get uh, garlic and herb. Really good soft cheese. Um, and it's only like a dollar seventy-five, something like that. Okay, I get heavy whipping cream because it has no sugar in it, and that's what I use in my coffee since I'm a diabetic. This is just an egg I had left over to mix up with my gluten-free flour. I try to use do gluten-free as much as I can so I can make some bread out of that. And then I have started, because when I went on Weight Watchers, I realized I was eating full fat butter, just butter. And it is like five points for a little, just a little pat. So I, I, I was changed, I can't believe butter light, and this is the original. This, of course, is not a diet. This is kind of a treat. I do take one day off a week. Usually Sabbath and eat what I want to eat. Not over eat, but eat what I want to eat. This is cranberry almond chicken salad from Aldi. And it is very, very deliciously good. And one of those is for my mom. She forgot to get it. Okay, so that's what I buy at Aldi's that I love. I also found this great big tub of zesty Italian dressing. And it was only $1.95. And I was going to get balsamic vinaigrette dressing because I like it. But um, this has just as much sugar in it. So it actually has less sugar in it. Uh, I use this blend on my salads. It is a Trilogy Health Seed Flax Chia and Hemp Seeds. This is good for inflammation. I sprinkle this on my salads. You can get this really cheap um, off of Amazon.com. 
Uh, I also use liquid aminos because for an alternative to soy sauce. Because soy sauce is made from wheat and has a lot of gluten in it. Nothing wrong with wheat, but what we do to our wheat today with the GMO and everything is really bad. Uh, this is the one thing as a frugal gal I do splurge on. This is my organic fair trade coffee. It's instant. It's freeze dried. And if, I know instant coffee is gross, but this is delicious. You cannot tell it's, it's instant. And um, since I live by myself, this does cost about $10 a jar. But that's the one thing I splurge on. And then at the health food store too, I got some goji berries, which are good for inflammation, to put in my salads and some chia seeds. So that's just a little overview of a healthy, frugal travel trailer refrigerator. We always call it Icebox. But okay, so that's all I wanted to tell you. And I got to call my mom back because she just called. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.